Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another experiment in Schedule 1. My name is Savin, founder, president, and CEO of The Syndicate. We are at a brand new location this time around, ladies and gentlemen. I left the comfort of my cushy office filled with my gold bars and all my treasures to come to the barn, because we are going to be taking a look at a new set of experiments. This time around, we are taking a look at chemists, specifically chemists and crystal. We are going full Breaking Bad this time around, and I want to see exactly how much crystal one chemist can produce. So let's head down to the barn floor, and I will run you through today's experiment. And this is what we are working with today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head on inside. You'll notice we have two chemistry stations. We have two lab ovens. And we have one brick press. That's it. It's gonna be a nice, simple, straightforward experiment. Each chemist can operate up to four machines. So that's what we're gonna have him do. As you see, we have our chemistry station set to the liquid meth, and they are going to be feeding over to the lab oven. Once the lab oven is done cooking, that lab oven is going to feed to the brick press. Then our handler is gonna press up those bricks and toss them on the storage racks here. Exact same setup mirrored on this side right here. In the back here, I've got my main supply shelf with a backup supply shelf. Each of the chemistry stations is completely full of product. So our chemist should have everything that he needs to run this experiment. We're going to have this go for three days and we're going to see how much our chemist can actually get done. I did want to show you here, if we take a look at our chemist, Jesse, here, you notice I have him assigned chemistry station, lab oven, chemistry station, lab oven. So this chemistry station, this lab oven is the one on the left. This chemistry station, this lab oven is the one on the right. And then Amanda, our handler, she is going to be bricking up the final product. And then she's also got five routes. Let me show you what route she's going to be running. First, she's going to be taking, replacing the product used in the chemistry station. So she's going to be taking from the main store storage rack here and placing it on the chemistry station on both sides. Then she's also going to be replacing the storage on the main storage rack here or the items on the main storage rack. So she has a route going from the backup to the main storage. So that accounts for four of the routes. And the last route is just a simple move from this shelf to this shelf, just so we, I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to filling up this rack, but just in case we're going to have her move it down one since she has the extra route available. That is what we're going to be working with today ladies and gentlemen all that is left to do is motivate our brand new employees let's get them started off right jesse amanda i know you are new to the syndicate i just want to say welcome aboard we appreciate all your hard work and i will follow my one of my core mottos every single day be enthusiastic and thankful so i just want to say welcome aboard and jesse Thank you so much for joining the team, man. We appreciate it. Amanda, thank you. Welcome aboard. Now, over these next three days, I expect you both to put in your best effort. Let's produce as much of that crystal as we can. Oh, it's going to be great, guys. Let's head to bed and let's get to it. Tomorrow. It is the morning of day one. We're going to kick back and let our chemist do his thing. And we're going to check in at the end of the day and see how much he's produced. the end of day one. Let's hop down and take a look at how much meth our chemist has made. And so far we've got one brick, one brick a day. All right, that's what we've got after day one. Let's check the brick press here. Yeah, nothing in there. So 20 crystal is what we have after day one. Let's go motivate the troops. Then we'll head to bed and get started on day two. Jesse, Amanda, great work after day one. I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate each of you get your three hours of sleep we're gonna get up bright and early in the morning and keep this experiment a rolling let's get to it day two it is morning time on day two our chemist has already gotten up and gotten working we'll check in with him at the end of the day And 
we've reached the end of day two. Let's go ahead and hop down and see how much crystal we have produced. Ooh, looky there, ladies and gentlemen. We are up to four bricks or 80 crystal. Very nice. Once again, nothing in the brick press. So let's go motivate the troops and we will head to bed for day three. Jesse, Amanda, excellent job. Two days down, one to go. I want you guys to get to three hours of sleep. In the morning, we've got one day left. So you're gonna get up, you're gonna work your butts off, make as much crystal as you can. Oh, it's gonna be great, guys. Let's head to bed and let's get to it. Day three. It is the morning of day three. Our workers have already gotten busy. Let's kick back, watch the show. We'll check in at the end of the day for our final results. And we have reached the end of day three. Let's hop down and take a look at how much crystal we have on hand. So over a three day span, our chemist has produced seven bricks of high quality crystal. That's a total of 140. Yet another excellent experiment down. Let's go ahead and thank the troops for all their hard work and we will wrap this bad boy up. Jesse, Amanda, I wanna say to each of you, Job well done. Thank you so, so much. Jesse, excellent work, man. Really appreciate you. Amanda, oh, I was watching. You were working your butt off. Thank you so, so much. You guys are both awesome. Excellent job. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What an excellent experiment. We have found out that over a three day span, one chemist can produce seven bricks of crystal. That is roughly 46, 47 crystal a day. So not bad. Knowing how much crystal each chemist can produce will definitely come in handy down the road. I've got plenty more experiments to run and I hope you join me next time. Time. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and keep on grinding.